hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll be discussing we'll carry on our discussion related to the supervised uh, learning neural network models and so far we have discussed about the McCulloch pitts neuron sorry uh, the that that is also a neural network model and in the supervised neural network model we discussed about the perceptron network so in this video we are going to discuss about another supervised learning network model which is the adaptive linear neuron in short we can call it adlin okay some basic concepts related to that so before that we all know that uh, the basic principle of neural network is it is based on the learning process the learning the training phase where it is exposed to inputs of different kinds new kinds of stimulus and on the basis of that learning or training phase it generalizes the various amount of data that it accumulates and the suitable parametric or structural adjustments that it makes and uh, according to that the output which it generates it is compared with the desired output to compute the error and then this process continues on and on and on till the actual output matches the desired output so this is the whole principle of supervised learning network which is based on the concept of feedback so the perceptron network is an example of supervised learning network the adlin the adaptive linear neuron it is also based on the supervised learning network mechanism so as the name suggests at adlin is adaptive linear network so the neural networks the neuron actually with the activation functions where the function is linear linear activation functions they are called as linear neurons and the adlin it consists of a single linear unit okay and uh, it uses mainly bipolar activation function okay the bipolar activation function and another important thing is that the weights between the input and output they are adjustable so this is the basic uh, you can say the structural uh, the architecture of a adaptive linear network model adlin so it consists of the input values and we have a bias value here which is a fixed weight we can say it is all given to this summing unit which is connected by synaptic weights adjustable synaptic weights w1 w2 wn this is the net input which is given by this the product of the input signals with the weight values and the bias signal so the whole training phase the learning phase it is based on the delta rule or uh, the least mean square or the withdraw half rule which we have already discussed in the five basic learning rules that so here each of these uh, neural network models on the basis of the input the overall linear activation function is applied and then depending on that the output in this case the net input is first compared with the error generator okay it is given to the error generator which is compared with the target value okay the net input is given to the error generator okay which is compared with the target value which is the desired value and that error signal the difference between the net input and the target value is given to the adaptive algorithm okay the withdraw half rule algorithm or the least mean square algorithm or the uh, the delta rule it is called and that is used to make suitable adjustments to the weights of these synaptic connections connecting the input layer neurons and the output okay so the whole change happens as per the delta rule so the synaptic weight change that is given by this okay so the delta rule for weight adjustment here for a particular synaptic weight connection connecting let's say neuron xi and 
j neuron i and j so here the change in synaptic weight connecting these two neurons for a particular let's say these two w i j the change in synaptic weight is given by alpha t j minus y n j into x i here alpha is the learning rate okay which is generally a positive constant value t j is the target value for that specific neural uh, neuron model okay for that specific neuron the target value y in j is the net input for that neuron okay the net input here there is a single layer i am talking about the multiple layer neurons then we have the xi which is the specific input for that neuron model okay the new input to that neuron xi so this is the delta rule which we have already studied in the learning basic learning rules models also the five basic learning rules so the delta rule weight adjustment takes place according to this okay the learning rate constant multiplied with the difference between the target value and the net input and that is multiplied with the input signal given to that specific neuron okay so here we are just picking one neuron out of this whole setup and its synaptic weight connection with the output and on the basis of that all the weight adjustments happen in that way in that particular way so the adaptive al algorithm is basically the withdraw half algorithm or which is also called as the least, least mean square or the delta rule so this is the synaptic weight change okay so this is whole concept is based on the principle of supervised learning uh, algorithm the supervised learning mechanism where the output here not the output the net input the net input controls the output so the net input is compared directly with the target value net input the error signal is computed that is given to the delta algorithm on the basis of which the change in synaptic weight happens in this way so here there are three important things that control everything first is the learning rate constant second is the target value for a specific neuron each of these neurons for the specific neuron what is the target value here as there is only one output unit okay as there is only one output unit so target value is a single value in case of multiple layers multiple output units in case output layer consists of multiple neurons there will be different target values and the net input the net input no why and then the specific input signals based on that the net input will also change so this is the uh, adaptive linear neuron adlin neural network model okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much